Still ahead on Inside MMA, Kenny and Boss talk to the panel about the art of striking. In Crux Corner, Ron looks at Drew Heredia, a nine-year-old boy who used a chokehold to save the day. See how he did it when Inside MMA returns. All right, now Ron Kruk is going to join us as he always does in his corner to tell us about a nine-year-old boy who fought a dog and he won. And it's, I'm really, you can't make this up. You can't make this up. Here's Ron with the really true story. All right, guys, there have been some remarkable chokeouts throughout the years in mixed martial arts, but none more impressive than the one nine-year-old Drew Heredia pulled off when his friend China was attacked by a pit bull. Drew tells us the amazing story from Crux Corner. My name is Drew Heredia. I'm in the fourth grade and I'm nine years old. When I came home, we were running late for jujitsu and Drew says, I gotta tell you something important. And he told me China was attacked by a dog. There was a dog that was attacking one of his friends and it was a pit bull, which is even more crazier. Uh, and then I heard that he basically put a chokehold and he, and he you know, st got the dog to stop moving. I was walking with my friend China and her little dog and then off to our right, far right with the street. This pit bull came out running and then it attacked her little dog and she tried to save it. And then it turned on her and then I jumped on his back and I got in the real naked chokehold. I was scared and I didn't know what to do, so I picked up my dog and I protected it. And then Drew came. And then it started biting me, and Drew, I was screaming, and then Drew came. I had butterflies, you know, like some even like worse than butterflies, like probably like bees like stinging you, like that feeling. Like I was really scared. He said he thought just to put it in a rear naked chokehold that he had just learned. I've been training about three months. I've learned a lot of things I've been sure in Jiu-Jitsu. I've learned arm bars, chokes, takedowns, all kinds of stuff. He's a good kid, and he's you know he really he really puts out an effort. Um, he's always got his best best foot forward, and he obviously listens very well. So what he did is it's, it's amazing, and. Um, you know, we're glad it worked out for him. And, uh, you know, he, what he did was very brave. Good. Yes, good. I jumped on his back and I got in the real naked chokehold where, like, hand, this hand pushes down, this one squeezes. And then, and then it was bucking, you know, like how the bulls do. And then, but it, it stopped, like, really fast. I am extremely proud of Drew. If someone heard about Drew's story, got their child into mixed martial arts, and they too had an incident to where they were able to use the skills that they've learned. My grandpa finally came, and then Drew was probably, i say, about an hour holding him, and then my grandpa came to talk to him. They said my bite was really bad, and I had to go wait into this room for about a couple of minutes, and then the nurse came in, and she cleaned me up. I think he's a really great friend and he's brave that he came and saved me. He wasn't doing it for anything other than just because it was the right thing to do. And uh, he put himself at risk and it, you know, it was a great thing that he did and hopefully he inspires more people. I, he has inspired some, but hopefully it continues. I feel like a real hero, like Superman or something like that. All right, Drew, I'm the crazy rabid pit bull. You choke me out just like you did before. Here we go. Woo, 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 woo. Wow. The pit bull didn't tap, did he? I think he got his first win. Nice work. Who was tougher, me or the dog? Ron didn't want to get hit in the uh, face. He gave up the rear naked joke. I saw it. That was all right. Thank you, Ron. That was Watch a cool out story. pit bulls around the country. Yeah. That little kid will take your pit bull out. <laughs> <laughs> we met him. Remember when he came in? The, the, he came in and was a nice little boy and yeah. his family. And that, that's, a, that's a nice story. And GC, that's when you can apply it outside the gym, I guess. It's I, I, I know you have in other cases. I just did a kick. I had a big world final one time attacking my dog, and uh, I gave him a low oh, kick, kick, and he went down. <laughs> and then he woke up, and he goes, he's, 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 he looks at me, and he goes, and I go, what? And he goes, <laughs> 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 I 
That's the funniest thing ever. I just like to say this in there that all pit bulls are not bad. It depends. There's no bad dogs, just bad owners. What do you think, Ryan? That's true. Oh, I, I agree. Oh, yeah. I, no. hey, you can make I have a, a, I have a Doberman. Mean. You can make a lot of dogs mean. I, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a pit bull owner. I've owned pit bulls my whole life, and they're the best dogs in the world. You just got. And you never you, fight them or train them to fight it, or all it's, that. No, nah, it, yeah. it, the, the whole thing with pit bulls, they're born to, they're born to fight. It's in their blood. So you have to let it be known to them that they're not allowed to fight. You have to, like Cesar Milan says, you have to be the pack leader. You have to let them know it's not allowed. And once they know it's not allowed, you know, they, they won't do it. Yep. You know? All right.